Hey, what's up everyone? Happy New Year! So, today it will be my first flight with DLG of the year. So, yeah, I think it's a good day to give you some of my practice secrets, kind of. So, how to get better uh, quickly. It's what maybe, yeah, I think it's how I will call this. So, how to get better at flying the LG quickly. So, this glider didn't flew since a while. So, <laughs> I hope everything is okay. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit windy as you can tell. And this one is a super light. So, this is one of my secrets. So, to get better at flying, you should train yourself to fly not at the good weight. But when I say not at the good weight, I mean really far away from the optimum weight. So, right now I should fly around uh, 230 grams, something like this. And I'm at wine 190, I think I'm at or 180 something. I don't remember how much weight this glider, but I, I don't remember it's, if it's 185 or 190. Oh, maybe it's no, <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't matter. It's way too light 40 or 50 grams too light. So, this is one of my, of my secrets. You should train flying too light in wind and too heavy in calm air. So oh yes, it needs to be trimmed a bit. So yeah, try to fly uh, in really many weather. Uh, and flying too light is really a great thing to improve your skills. Because uh, it makes you manage the energy way more by um, by making yourself uh, paying more attention about uh, not uh, going to slow down too much your glider because you will not be able to come back and uh, manage the energy to go in front uh, in front of yourself or something like this and vice versa flying too heavy in calm hair to uh, make yourself able to manage the speed one more time and to be able to save altitude because you are too heavy so this is one of the things you should work it's flying at the, the wrong weight if i can say it like this so today it's one of my targets i will fly way too heavy uh, way too light sorry i should be way heavier as you can tell my glider is always ballooned around, uh, wobbling again and again because it's way too light. And this is the difficult point. If you can manage a too light glider, as you can tell, it's not going that fast. So it's not a ton of wind, it's like 5 to 10 km per hour of wind. But I would not use this glider empty at this wind. I would use my standard at 210 with maybe 20 grams of ballast. So, to be at the perfect weight. So, yeah, flying this light, uh, it's a work. And right now, let's see if I can come back to me. No. Uh, I can catch it, but I was in need to move in front of me. Uh, so you move, move forward. Sorry, I didn't speak English since a while already, and uh, <laughs> you can you can hear it, I think. So yes, let's try again. And as you can tell, I launch at 40, 45 meters. I don't try to launch high because uh, it's it's the same. It's a waste. If you if you launch too hard, it's too easy. So, yes, don't launch hard and try to find the thermal being too light. 
so you need to manage really a lot your energy going in front of you when you're going upwind and uh, when you find the thermal you need to climb at a good rate to be able to manage to come back so maybe I start to be a bit far for the GoPro even, even if I'm not that far but as maybe you can't see still uh, the glider is moving around quite a lot right, uh, right to left and in the sink it's really not good there is a thermal oh yeah you can see I'm too light because I'm stalling at every turbulence so I'm trying to catch the thermal right now it's really small it's turbulent it's not stable so not really a good glider to do that but hey I can maybe still do it so as you can tell I'm not climbing that fast only because it's not really stable you you need weight in wind it's not it's not a secret so flying to light is making really um, a difficulty even in that little wind because right now it's winter it's not like a five kilo kilometers per hour of wind in summer so it's way more turbulent the thermals are way less active so it's way more difficult and as you can tell the thermals are going quite fast on the ground so I flew 2 minutes and 5 seconds and again and again just repeat right now I did not follow yet any thermal downwind because there was no one strong enough so yeah there's a wind picking up so same 45 50 meters launch maybe a bit less thermals right here somewhere because the wind just picked up yeah it's turbulent as hell right here I don't know how the GoPro is going about the sun <laughs> because the sun angle is quite bad right now pretty low even if it's only 3 p.m. not even <laughs> not even 3 p.m. oh yeah surfing the trees a bit but yeah the, the glider is moving quite a lot left left to right on the wing there is a little bubble try to catch it when it will be on the trees it will be way easier because the bubble will be stable so when I mean bubble uh, I mean uh, when I say bubble I mean thermal maybe you understood this I hope oh <laughs> that's low giving a bit of speed but still you can see it's it's a bit wobbling around uh, because of the turbulence but it's still going quite nice against the wind even at this low weight so this is a bit the power of the energy it's it drags so uh, I mean it doesn't drag so much <laughs> so yeah it's it's no drag so you can really do a lot uh, even at this low weight because it's it can go fast don't remember which one is it for this timer was this one so yeah as you can tell this glider still, still fly quite amazing in this this little weather with a bit of wind with nearly no thermal just tiny ones that doesn't climb that fast 
since there is something here, but oh, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's good enough. No, it's not that good. It's quite hard to, to catch thermals today. And as I said, being that light doesn't help. For people that think if you don't climb in thermal, <laughs> you need to be light. It's it's not a good way to think about this. So yeah, as you can tell, it's yeah, it's good. But it's oh, I practice because it's hard. So the target here is not to manage to do the time every time you launch. I did 335 right now, which is not bad considering I launched only at 50 meters and uh, in that weather. So this is how I train. And if it was like a uh, really calm day, nearly dead air, I would fly too heavy because it's harder to fly heavy in light weather and it's harder to fly too light in a bit like this bumpy weather. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe suggest me some other subject about uh, what do you want to see on my YouTube channel for DLG or glider in general. I think about uh, using simulator to make you some great content because you will see the glider way better and there is some really great simulator right now. So maybe there will be the next video on simulator. So thank you again for watching and see you next time. Bye.